What's up everybody, it's Afro DJ Mac here and I got a new free Ableton Live pack for you. It's the Afro DJ Mac Easy Multiband Effects. And you're actually gonna get four different effect racks today. You're gonna get this Easy Multiband Effect Rack, which I have here, totally empty. And then you're gonna also get three other effect racks I made to put inside there. Also, on top of that, I'd like to just show you the Brooklyn drums, which come from our pals over at Ableton Empire. They've created this kit called the Brooklyn Drums, which you're listening to right now. I think they're really cool. Head over there. You can download that for free. So let's take a look at what's going on inside our rack here. So I'm going to turn this off for a second. Right now, we just have an analog going with a little pad sound. I will mute our drums for a second so you can just hear what this sounds like. Now, where it gets interesting is right here on my multiband effect. See, if we turn it on, nothing really happens because we have all the effects turned off. What this is is just an effect rack with three different chains. We have a chain marked lows, a chain marked mids, and a chain marked highs. Under lows, we have an EQ3 with the low pass section open. We have a mids with just the middle and a high with just a high. So basically I'm taking this audio, splitting it into three different sections, and we're gonna put effects on each section. So after the EQ3 is where the effect rack comes, and there's two chains here. One is wet where you put your effects, and one is dry where nothing goes. And the way this works is as you turn up your low, what you're actually doing is moving your chain selector and getting more wet and less dry. On this particular sound, I'm gonna hide that, I have some saturation and some glue. So if I turn up my dry wet all the way, I can add some extreme amounts of saturation, change the kind of tone of that saturation. And I also have a glue compressor with the threshold and gain makeup. So I thought this was just a nice thing to do for your lows to make them a little beefier. Turn that off for a second. On the mids, it's the same concept, really. We have this chain selector, and as you turn up the dry wet for the mids, you get more of the effect. So let's just look at the effect I have here. I'm gonna hide our chain selector. It's a chorus pitch delay, is what I've dubbed it. It has chorus. You can change the amount of chorus, the rate, Get some really kind of crazy like detuning sounds when you turn it that loud. There's a frequency shifter, which allows the pitch of this to really move around a lot. And this is the rate for that frequency shifter. And there's also some delay. It's set to re-pitch mode, so you get to hear that fun sound. Now, this is only affecting the mids. I'm soloing the mids right now so you can hear that. This is what the mids sound like. Now if I turn that effect off, this is what they sound like without it. And I can put it into taste. Let's listen to the highs. I'll solo the highs as well. And that's all that's going on in the highs. If you want to change where your high cut off is, you can just move this high cut knob. And this will affect the high cut on your EQ3 on your highs channel, on your highs chain and also on your mids chain. And the same concept for the low frequency cut. This is affecting the low cut and the mid channel cut, low cut. So your mids will essentially be whatever frequencies you have in between these two knobs. So just so we can hear the highs a little better, I'm gonna lower it down a little and we'll hear it soloed here. I'm gonna turn up the effect which is a flanger and a bit crusher. Set to pretty extreme rates right now. I can dial these back a bit, make it a little bit more subtle. And that's what we're doing to the highs. So what's cool about this rack is that you can affect different sections of your sounds. Sometimes you don't want your lows to get too many effects like chorus and flanger because you want those lows to be real solid. You don't want them over the stereo band and lows can get muddy really easily. So low frequencies we tend to like to leave alone. But sometimes you want to do things to it so you have control over it here. So what I've really done here is I've taken a sort of pretty static, kind of boring pad 
and added these effects to it to give it some character and some life. Drop our drums back in. I might have some of these, you know, a little extreme for my taste here, but this is just so you can hear what they sound like. Usually find subtlety is the name of the game, but just so you can hear these sounds. So that's one I made. I'm going to leave that here inside the pack so you can have the one already set up with these effects dropped on the highs, mids, and lows. But I've also got on this track here the empty thing. So I have the lows. All you have to do is follow these instructions. Place effects on wet chain. So select the wet chain and you can drop whatever effect you want on here. Anything from your Ableton Live browser, any effect you dream of. Um, you can put racks as I did before or simple effects on their own. Same thing with the mids, same thing with the highs. So these are totally customizable for you to play around with whenever you want to do a little multi-band effects. This is a nice easy way to do it. It's already set up. Also these three effect racks that I used in the example sounds are right here for you to have. So I hope you enjoy this effect rack. I hope you find it useful. I think it's pretty cool and handy. It allows you to get some pretty neat, interesting effects on all different bands of your sounds. So thanks a lot. Check out the free download and see you soon.